Still even three days after watching Speak No Evil, the 2022 version, I have still been revisiting the imagery, the savagery. It was a next level film. A Danish family visits a Dutch family they met on holiday, and what was supposed to be an idyllic weekend slowly starts unraveling as the Danes try to stay polite in the face of unpleasantness. This was directed by Christian Taftrup, and there is a lot going on in the 2022 version of this movie. Now let's delve a little bit deeper into what it was about before we get into my little review of it. So we see two families on vacation, one Danish one Dutch. This is in Tuscany. You know, they're having this great thing. They become fast friends. It's this wonderful little vacation. So the Dutch family is like a little bit more, you know, easygoing, free spirit, like that kind of vibe, it would seem. So months later after they meet, they invite the Danish couple over. Now the Danish couple is more like how do you say it? Conservative, a little more you know, polite, like the IMDB says, that kind of an energy with them. So they go to the house and then very quickly things start to fill off. And this is when we will get into my review of it. So let's just talk about overall what's going on. Now this is gonna be spoiler free because you almost, and I'm gonna be, I always am very gray about this because I go into these films knowing very little about them and watch them. So a lot of it is a surprise other than like what I see on the, the trailer or the movie poster and things like that. And this is one that I feel like you need that vibe. I have at the recording time of this not seen the updated version, the new one out in theaters right now, like the American version basically. So I was like, well, let me see this. There's a couple of things going on. First of all, acting amazing, right? Wonderful, awesome. Storyline, great. It has some hiccups in it. We'll get to those in a a minute the setting awesome totally cool in each different aspect that's going on let's get into some of the little backdrops of it one thing was the the music whatever you call it the soundtrack whatever the score there was very little going on there my friend i was watching it with was like huh this is interesting i wonder if in the american version that's going on because it's kind of bleak now there is you know sound effects stuff like that or whatever but it was overall just kind of quiet towards the end some stuff came up so there's that there's also the language let's call it barrier maybe now this goes a couple of ways yes there's subtitles stuff like that but one thing that works for this is it's not so much that it was how do you say it? A hindrance to watching it is an English speaking person. Like I only speak English, I don't speak other languages. So it wasn't that big of a deal for me because a lot of times with the subtitles, I'm not gonna lie, at this stage in life, I'll fall asleep just reading them. Okay, that's just where we're at, we're just gonna be honest, right? I'll sit there and fall asleep from reading or whatever, so it is what it is. However, this, it worked because there is a dynamic and awkwardness, a social eh, going on here. So when you see different languages being spoken it adds to the it's almost like it was intentional for the two couples to not know what one another's saying at times right uh so there's that energy going on and then also is the viewer there it adds another layer of awkwardness and awkward is a a descriptive word that I am going to go ahead and just say is absolutely the definition of this movie okay this movie starts off, you get into it, they get to the vacation, and it is a series of absolutely unhinged, socially awkward scenarios, okay? And we'll leave it at that. Some of them you've seen in the trailers. The trailers are very similar to one another. Almost scene for scene from what I saw in this movie, without seeing 2024 yet, but just from the trailer, they've replicated it, right? So you're going into this and you're just like, oh my God, this is, uh, this is so awkward like that. I want to crawl under the sofa. And it does this the whole time and it adds to this absolute sense of dread because obviously we know something bad's going to happen, right? We've seen the trailers. We know that there's some kind of like really bad thing going on. So this adds to that okay then the whole almost social commentary of this that's going on is here's you know this couple that one's like easy going like ah whatever almost like let the kid this and that and then another couple that's more prim and proper and that playing out with one another in it and again once you if you watch it and see it you'll see how it all adds up to this final 
like thought process or thing or whatever that you could say that makes you revisit the whole film okay so that's going on is this a movie that's like jump scare friday the 13th no okay this is a psychological get in your head screw with you kind of a thing right i mean like i said days after i was still like i can't get over the look on her face you know or, oh my god i can't believe they showed that to us type situation okay so there's that going on also the center of it again not spoiler alert if you've seen the trailer there's kids in here and whatnot okay so that dynamic adds a whole other layer and i'm just gonna say this i don't know like how different film work from like usa to other films and what's allowed and what's not some of the stuff that i saw in this i was i'm gonna say flabbergasted or like you know because i'm not used to seeing that here in the states on things so i'm curious to see if the same imagery will play out and the one that's in the theaters now i'm very curious to go see this for that reason okay um this movie will add up to this overall ending again don't worry i'm not going to tell you that literally leaves a thud in your stomach okay it's a level of savagery it's a, an emotional boom at the end of it and throughout because it's led you up to that moment by making you insanely uncomfortable like literally now here's the one thing where the movie goes wrong for me at least okay and i've heard that they fix this for the new version but we'll see number one i'm coming from this perspective okay i'm almost 47 at the time of this filming the idea of meeting a couple on vacation and going to stay with them it, it the movie would never happen with me and bob right that would never even take place okay let alone to stay with them for several days the first sign of the things that go wrong socially in this film 100 percent, no questions asked i would be gone okay it's just what it is but again i would never put myself in this scenario now i get it's a work of fiction whatever so what i'm getting at is there are some choices that are made in this that i call them very cliche horror film choices of why did the character make this choice obviously to keep it going right to keep the storyline moving is there another way that we could have done this because this is very unbelievable right this doesn't make sense a normal person probably would not do this they would be like oh pff, done you know what i'm saying so it has those little hiccups in the script now like i said the actors and whatnot amazing the kids were great the adults were great i mean it was like whoa and that added to it there's just some choices that the writer and the director made in the story writing process that could have been ironed out better for me other than that y'all this is literally one of the top films and when i say top films i'm talking about being older now this is the kind of horror that affects me more than friday the 13th you know what i'm saying like as you get older there's other fears that come up in life besides is freddy standing behind my shower curtain now obviously that's still a fear okay but this could happen kind of a thing whereas yeah most likely freddy or jason like that's probably not gonna happen in that context so this type of stuff gets into my head when they say it's a psychological horror thriller a hundred percent okay so i would suggest if you haven't seen part you know the second one and again i'll not the second one but you know what i'm saying the remake i'm gonna do a thing on it but i would definitely start with this one so far just to compare it to because that's the process i'm going through to do this one then the remake because i guess watching this i was like this was so amazing why did they remake it however i can kind of see where i'm like they probably just want i mean number one let's be honest money right and then the american version i mean i'm talking just from the trailer of 2024 it's like scene for scene they're identical seeming now again i haven't seen the second one i know people say some stuff changed so there's that so it gets a slice it gets a spice it gets a dice did i put my phone down absolutely yes i did okay so definitely check it out let me know what you think down in the comment section below do your little warning for spoiler alerts if you put spoiler alerts in there you know be nice to the other members and whatnot and that's it let me know what you think and until we go around the big screen the computer screen the little screen whatever screen you watch all this stuff on i'll see y'all soon